Hello again, everyone. It's Trevor here with another Dakless Quality Review. This is where I go see every movie that comes out in my theater and do a quick review afterwards on my phone in my car. It's my New Year's resolution, and I'm going to stick to it. So the movie I went to see today was uh, Hail Caesar. This is a movie that takes place in the 1950s Hollywood where um, there's a, it follows a fixer who in, just makes sure that everything works out for the studio. All the actors look nice and the news the, and the media and all that stuff. And, uh, and then one of the actors gets kidnapped and yeah, they try to find him and then other hilarious comedy ensues. I say hilarious. I don't know if I'd call it hilarious, but there's some definitely some funny bits. It's, it's quite good. It's the best comedy I probably saw. I didn't laugh out loud, though, all that much. There were some good moments. But, I mean, the, the story's pretty, um, sane. Like, throughout the entire thing, it never goes up or down, really. It just sort of stays level at at pretty good fun. Um, I, I recommend you go and see it and have fun with it, but I think you could be disappointed. Especially because I think... I, I don't know, I think there's a lot of excitement for this movie. I think I even was more excited than... Uh, than it actually turned out to be, because it's just very, it's very even, and the 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 plot kind of just resolves. There's no big build up. It just kind of neatly just happens, and there's it, there's no there's no suspense. There's no. I mean, there's some funny bits. There's definitely some really funny bits, but it's not a great movie. It's not. I don't even know if I'd say it's better than the the finest hours, because um, I I mean I got emotional during that. This one, it was funny, but it also had some not so funny moments that were pretty bland. And there's a lot of just waiting until the next sort of bit where you're like, oh that's funny, where you 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 get some funny stuff. But I don't know if I actually recommend you go see it. I think a lot of people would be disappointed because it doesn't resolve. Like your regular movie, it doesn't build up. It doesn't just resolve in a in a fantastic style. There's no big draw. I feel like it's just it's a nice, enjoyable movie. Probably actually better is just a rent uh, once it comes out because I mean it's enjoyable, but it's nothing special. That's all I can. I think that's all I can say. I'm not. I'm also. I think the worst part of this movie in terms of acting was George Clooney. I'm not a huge George Clooney fan. Um, I think that might be because of the movies I've seen. I haven't seen him really in anything good. Mostly seen him in sort of, I don't know, comedies and stuff. Uh, the few comedies I've seen him in. Actually, not comedies, but where he's supposed to be somewhat funny. And he does not work doing funny, at least in anything I've seen him in. He has He's always been like the worst part of things that I've seen him in. So, I, I don't know. I'm not a huge fan, and I think in this he was not very good. I, uh, I, I don't know. That's that's pretty much all I have to say about this movie. Uh, also coming out this week, uh, the choices in theaters. So I'm gonna have to check that one out. It's a Jordan Sparks movie. Jordan Sparks? Is that right? I don't know. A romance. Uh, uh one of those romance movies that, they, that he comes out with. Uh, this one doesn't look all that great. I'm not hugely excited for it, but I'm gonna see it. Maybe it'll be enjoyable. Um, I like a romance, but this one doesn't look great. Um, what else is coming out in theaters? Oh, there's a few things, I think. Uh, I don't know if they're wide release, though, so I'll have to see. But, oh, uh, Pride, Prejudice, Pride and Prejudice and Zombies is out in theaters. Uh, I'll see that sometime, probably this weekend. Uh, I'll still have to see Kung Fu Panda 3. Um, waiting for my nephew. I'll, I'll find out later, and but I'll I'll probably see that this week. It'll be in theaters probably for quite a while, but I'll see that eventually and give you my review. Anyway, uh, before I go, I want to give out uh, a thanks to someone who's commenting on here, Rachel. Thank you for uh, giving me some constructive criticism and uh, telling me to, I probably should describe the movie at the start. Uh, I, I guess I just didn't expect too many people to watch my things more regularly. I just expected, and they'll pop in if they know the movie already and maybe want to see it. But uh, I'm glad to have uh, have people on board. And uh, what else? 
Anyway, I think that's it. So follow me on Twitter at Dakless. Spelling's in the title of the video. You can check out Geek Wars Podcast on Twitter at Geek Wars Podcast. Just Geek Wars Podcast on all of the platforms on the YouTube, which you're at. That's where you're watching this. Uh, you can check us out on iTunes. We have a podcast. That's why it's called Geek Wars Podcast. You can check it out on Podbean, Podcast Addict. You can uh, go follow, you can go like the Facebook page for Geek Wars Podcast. And uh, like, subscribe, comment, talk to me, say hello. I, I'll, I'll comment back, I promise. I'll, every time, for the most part. Uh, anyway, I think that's it. Uh, oh, here we go. I sometimes do this. But if you want more reviews from uh, a friend of mine does a show from this local network, and some of the, the episodes go up on YouTube, I'll put a link in the description for the YouTube episodes, and there's a place for some um, exclusive content. There's not, there's only one video on there right now, but he'll put up some more stuff, so check those out, subscribe to them. You might get something good, some good reviews if you like movies. Anyway, that is that. I'm going to say goodbye. You probably stopped before this because I went through a bunch of stuff. I'm just doing all the plugs and not nonsense that no one really cares about. But if you stuck around, thank you. And goodbye.